I took this job not because I want to, but I firmly believe that it was a calling and that God wanted me to. And that's why I strongly believe that God that has brought me here will fix whatever comes my door way. Another big story we're following tonight, a doctor stricken with Ebola has landed in Omaha and is at the Nebraska Medical Center tonight being evaluated by doctors there. Dr. Martin Salia arrived in Omaha this afternoon and was rushed to the biocontainment unit. Lindsay Thies was at the airport today. You heard and saw the arrival live at KMTV.com. Lindsay is live now at the Med Center with the very latest. Lindsay. Well, Craig, Salia is the third patient to be treated here in Nebraska. Go up this ramp behind me and begin his treatment at the biocontainment unit. There is one big difference, though, when you look at his case compared to the other two Ebola patients treated here. He is much sicker. Nebraska's third round with Ebola started Saturday afternoon. The plane carrying 44-year-old Dr. Martin Salia landed just after 2.30 at Epley Airfield. Doctors in Sierra Leone and the flight crew says Salia is extremely ill. Possibly even more ill than any of the patients that have been uh, transported from Western Africa to the United States to be treated for Ebola up to this point. Transport this time around took a bit longer compared to the other two patients as EMTs dressed head to toe in biocontainment suits lowered a strapped down patient from a ladder onto a stretcher into the flatbed of a truck and then onto the ambulance. They wanted to make sure he was in an isopod this time because he wasn't well enough to walk off the plane under his own power. Once at the med center, treatment began immediately. Doctors began running tests, giving IV fluids and supportive care. Officials say they also expect to use experimental drugs and therapies. Nebraska's past two Ebola cases, Dr. Rick Sacra and news photographer Ashaka Mukpo, were both treated with a concoction of experimental drugs, blood transfusions from an Ebola survivor, and supportive care. Officials wouldn't comment on treatment specifics, it's too soon, but they say with Salia being considerably sicker, they're considering more proactive containment measures for the biocontainment unit staff. We have looked into uh, different personal protective gear that we may want to use this time around. Back out here live now, Salia's plane did refuel in Maryland. That's where one of the nation's four biocontainment units exists. We asked officials here why he was still brought then to the med center for treatment, and their answer to us was there is now a little bit of an informal rotation since almost every one of these biocontainment units has experienced treating patients with the deadly virus. We're live near 42nd in Emily Lindsay Thies, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, Lindsay, and as has been done, Documented. It is Nebraska 2, Ebola 0. Let's hope it becomes 3. We want to tell you a little bit more about Nebraska's third Ebola patient. As you heard, Dr. Salia is a chief medical officer and surgeon at United Methodist Kissy Hospital in one of the poorest neighborhoods of Sierra Leone. United Methodist tells KMTV Action 3 News Salia tested positive for Ebola on Monday. It's still unclear how the doctor contracted the virus. Dr. Salia worked in at least three other medical facilities in the area. He became infected weeks after the 21-day quarantine period for staff who had contact with Ebola patients. Now those two patients have successfully finished their treatment at Nebraska Medicine. You remember in September, Dr. Rick Sankra spent nearly three weeks at the Nebraska Medical Center. He contracted the virus while working in Liberia. Then about a week and a half after Dr. Sakra's release, the hospital treated NBC News cameraman Ashoka Mukpo. He became infected while covering the outbreak. He left Omaha about two and a half weeks of intense treatment.